All right, good afternoon. Turn on my timer here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is measure what I'm calling the warm tone or the color tone. And to do that, we're going to need a um, synchronous resonance tool. And you can make your own. I've got one started here. I'll be gluing it together here. Epoxying it together and uh, and a couple coats of varnish on it. So that's uh, plans are on uh, violinresearch.com. Useful tools, you know. Okay, what it does? It's an unusual tool because even where a regular piece of spruce will measure a tap tone, a synchronous resonance tool measures this measures some special property to wood and it doesn't matter where you tap it on it's always the same so I developed that as a tap tone tool to make it louder but it didn't work because I always gave the same no matter where I tapped it it's always the same but two different pieces of wood two different tones so what we're going to do, um, so this is a nice piece of uh, neckwood, and this is a piece of old growth um, Engelmann spruce from the west coast of Canada in the high elevations. This is uh, 300 years old, 300 growth rings are showing, See, wide to start with and very, very tight at the end. And I just counted the growth rings here on the side. So just looking at it, knowing when it was cut, and estimating uh, what the core might be, um, this tree started growing in 1680. All right. So this is how it works. You hold the size of your synchronous resonance tool, put your finger in the center, so when you tap, you're actually holding it like this. Okay. So that keeps it from stressing the material. You simply tap. Now just listen. It's important you just listen and you don't talk to yourself. Okay. Now we're going to tap along the top here and just listen. We're going to listen for the high overtones. Think of here, you'll hear the high overtones going down. to me like it's 210. So I'll, I'm just going to use that number, which is the number of years <laughs> since the tree uh, is 210 growth rings up. It says 210, so I'm just going to write this down. It's 210. I can call it a W and uh, for warm tone, or it could be a color tone. So this would be a pretty cold um, range. You can start way down like 50. There's some wood that would actually be down here. This here. So that would be a warm tone, and a medium tone, and a cooler tone. And I'm not sure exactly what's the best arrangement. Maybe if you want an overall violin, you'd have a warm tone and a cold tone. If you want a very clear and bright and cold tone, you have two up here or something, really warm sunny tone, you might do that. But it gives a reference and a number, and it relates to putting wood, uh, sorting wood in a category that will more likely yield a synchronous resonance match uh, later on. So that's called the um, warm tone or color tone. That's another example here piece of uh, spruce top, same thing. Tool on the side, finger in the middle. So the tone, overtones are going down. 
somewhere those going down meet. I'm going to find that. Right at 150. Um, so all the tones going down. And it actually is 250. So I'll just du double check it and be sure that your ears aren't playing tricks on me. Okay, and you say um, 250 or 240 warm tone. And then uh, that's all there is to it.